What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 17.2 beta 4 to register developers and soon for public beta testers. Now along with this release, Apple also dropped the fourth beta for iPadOS 17.2, watchOS 10.2, macOS Sonoma 14.2, tvOS 17.2, and HomePod version 17.2. But of course in this video we're talking all about iOS 17.2 beta 4 and you can see here the size of the update came in just under 590 megabytes on my iPhone 15 Pro Max coming from beta 3. Now if we check out the new build number for this update in our settings general about iOS version the new build number is 21C 5054B. So we do still have a B at the end of the build number, which indicates we still have another beta to go. And that is most likely going to be the RC release, which we'll talk about near the end of this video. And if we go back, we can see that the modem firmware version down there is 1.22.05. That is the exact same modem firmware as the previous beta. So no update there. Hopefully we do see that though in the RC. All right. So now what's new here in iOS 17? point two beta four and the first thing is a change that we should have had in iOS 4 and that is if we go into our settings and go to sounds and haptics and then scroll down we have a brand new option here to change the default notification alert sound so you can see rebound was the default and that was found out in a previous version but we had no way of changing the default sound you were only able to change the sound for all of these individual sections right here like your ringtone your calendar all of that we can now finally change the default alert sound and if you go into here you can see you have all of the alert tones to choose from along with your custom ringtone so if you want a custom ringtone to be your default you can even set that and we do also have all of the classic ones in here as well now if we go up to the top you can see we can also change the default haptics so if you go into the haptics you can now change what the default haptic feedback pattern is and just like with the sounds you can also create a custom vibration to be the default right there or if you had some that were already created they would show up right here so again a feature that should have been in ios for a very long time but it is now finally here in ios 17.2 there's also a minor change in the settings general and then right here where it says apple care and warranty before that just said coverage so i have ios 17.2 beta 3 on the left beta 4 on the right and you can see before where it said coverage and now it says apple care and warranty Warranty. And when you go into there, you can see the top changes as well, but everything else inside is the same. However, if you look closer, you can see some very minor changes. Number one, the boxes seem to be a little bit slimmer on beta four. So under paired devices and also this device, the boxes, the rectangles here are more thin than they were on previous versions. And then also the sentence at the bottom for a full list of your devices, go to Apple support. That sentence is missing in beta four. Now there's another pretty strange change in iOS 17.2 beta four. And that is the fact that collaborative playlists are missing and not the playlist themselves because if i go into this playlist you can see that the playlist is still here i could still play music however the option up top to edit this or add people to it is missing so beta 3 is here on the left hand side and you can see up top we have the option in every playlist we have this option to turn that in to a collaborative playlist where you can invite others to join however that is missing in beta 4 so no matter what playlist you go to that option is missing up top i tried tapping into these three dots i tried going into the settings application to see if there was a new setting in there but nothing has changed on that front so it seems like apple might have pulled the collaborative playlists option until the rc build so i'm assuming this is not you know a permanent change it's most likely just for the time being to maybe work out the last minute bugs on that you know feature since it is kind of a big feature and there's a lot of uh, anomalies and a lot of variables that go into when you have multiple devices on one playlist so don't freak out about that i do still think it's coming in 17.2 but for some reason it is missing here in beta 4. and you can see even when i go to the bottom of this playlist that shows the collaborators right here like i can go tap on that and it takes me to the profile of the person that is you know collaborating on that playlist there's just no option to add 
add anybody new or change anything. Oh, and also, even though I added all these songs to the playlist, I'm no longer able to remove them from this playlist because it was a collaborative playlist. So pretty strange stuff. But again, I would expect that to be sorted out by the RC. And then for those wondering if the notification center bug has been fixed, as you can see there, it has not been fixed. It is still super laggy and still such a nightmare here on the notification center. So again, I don't think that's getting fixed until iOS 20, but we'll have to wait and see if it comes even then. But as far as any bugs and bug fixes go, I've not really noticed anything new here in terms of bugs or bug fixes. And taking a look at the release notes, they are identical to the beta three release notes. So Apple is not telling us anything that we do not already know in terms of behind the scenes things that have changed. I'm sure things will change when the RC rolls around, but right now in beta four, not really much changing in terms of bug fixes or just new bugs popping up. Now, as far as the performance and the battery life goes, you guys will have to tell me what I started this video at. I'm now at 68%. So battery life has been okay for me on iOS 17.2 as a whole. It's not been better than iOS 17.1, but it's not terrible. I've noticed worse battery life on watchOS 10.2. So hopefully that is fixed in the latest beta. But as far as iOS goes, I wouldn't really expect a change here. We might see it with the RC, but we might just end up seeing a little bit worse battery life compared to 17.1 and 17. 1.1 but of course things can change now as far as the performance goes i am going to run a brand new fresh geekbench test here to see how it compares to the previous beta all right so we scored a 2949 on the single core score and a 7402 on the multi-core so if we compare that to the previous build you can see it is very close but it is higher in both single core and and multi-core so it's much higher on the multi-core than the single core but you can see very very close there so wouldn't expect a major difference in terms of performance but it's always fun to see how those scores stack up okay so now let's talk about what to expect next from apple so this week we should be seeing ios 17.1.2 that is going to be the next public release before the final release of ios 17.2 and we could see that as early as tomorrow wednesday the 29th or it could come on the 30th or on december 1st but we are expecting to see 17.1.2 release to the general public for those that are not on the betas this week so after that i would expect to see the ios 17 17.2 betas pick back up next week the week of december 4th and when i say betas i mean the rc so i would expect to see the rc next i do not think we're going to see a beta 5 i think it's going to be rc and then after that we should receive the final release for ios 17.2 on the week of december 11th if not december 11th itself but of course apple could change things and this is just my speculation and i do also think we're going to see 17.3 betas begin shortly after 17.2 gets released but we will most likely only see one maybe two betas before the end of the year and i would not expect to see 17.3 until some point in january so anyways there you have it that is ios 17.2 beta 4 a relatively minor update with the only notable change being the ability to change the default notification sound and haptics something that should have been there in ios for a long time but that's really going to be the highlight of this beta update and again we do have the removal of collaborative playlists but i would expect to see those back before the final release but nonetheless if you guys enjoyed this video i would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up also make sure to subscribe for more ios 17 coverage but anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon